Hello everyone, this is Lorraine and today I am coming to you with a haul. Um, I went to a couple different places. I was stocking Walmart, no, I was stocking Walgreens to find some of the new Milani products and um, so I went to a couple Walgreens over the weekend and then I went to one today, found some things. Um, I'm not sure if they were the the polishes. Someone had mentioned they had new polishes with the new um, makeup products, but the ones that I found, I couldn't tell if they were new. I even went to Milani's website to see what <clears throat> exactly were new, and all it mentioned on their website, Milani, MilaniCosmetics.com was there, were just makeup items. They didn't have anything regarding um, nail polish, whether or not they had new nail polish released. So. I don't know. But the first Walgreens that I went to, and I also have something from Amazon. Um, so Walgreens I went to yesterday, um, they had, um, I guess there was a new, some new sinful colors polishes, and they had a display, which I should have taken a picture of the display, the display at the Walgreens that I went to, I swear. Sinful, it's hard buying sinful colors just because every Walgreens that I go to, um, generally they have the new polishes mixed in with the old polishes so I hate buying dupes especially of like oh I just hate getting you know intentionally buying a dupe or whatever but these I know I did not have just because these colors I know I don't have from um, sinful colors but it's when I knew I should took a display because I can't remember it was like leather effects and chrome effects or something and of course they had the chrome polishes and the leather effects leather polish set area and then the leather ones in the chrome section of the display but anyway so the first color i got is this very nice gold color and of course this is the chrome one and this one is called gold metal and it's just a very nice metallic gold polish. Um, I can't wait to try this one out because I'm always looking for a good gold for stamping. And then the next one that I picked up, which I just really love this, like, oh, this one's kind of, oh, okay. This um, brownish, taupey color. And this, and it has some shimmer in it as well. So it's like a, kind of like a, deep taupe like taupey brown color but I don't know there you can probably see right in there it has some like very fine silver shimmer not sure if it's going to actually translate onto the nail and this is called taupe it off and these were in a separate display so I picked these two colors because the other colors I had something similar to those. While I have various golds, I don't think I have something, I'm pretty sure I got something close to it. But, and again, simple colors are $1.99. So that's all I got from that Walgreens. And then today, I went to the Walgreens by my job and picked up some things. Um, first three items are just some candy items. I love um, like gummy candies and like Mike and Ike's. So they had these three for four, which I probably could have just went to Walmart because these are generally always a dollar, but I was in there and I hadn't had any in a while. So I absolutely love these gummy lifesavers. So these are just the wild berry edition of the gummy lifesavers. Oh, throw on it. And then Mike and Ike's. And these are just the red, is red rages. So it's got all like the red fruit, strawberry, raspberry, watermelon, fruit punch, and cherry. So I absolutely love Mike and Nuts. I just don't like sour candy. I, I can't do, I'm, I'm not a sour person at all. I'm not a sour or hot. So anything hot, barbecue grippos is my um, limit for hot. And sometimes those can be a little bit too hot, so you know and then milani um i've been looking for a liquid eyeliner um to do try the winged eyeliner and i saw that milani this was one of the new Mil milani products and so i wanted to try this this is supposed to help 
you know, get a perfect line. This is the um, iTech Perfection Liquid Liner, water resistant, no feathering, ergonomic handle for easy application. And this one is in 01 Black, um, extreme fine felt tip point. So we'll see how that works out for me. And uh, where, darn it, I don't have, need to get my, I need to grab my receipt. It's, I believe, in my purse because I didn't pay attention to how, how much that was. Well, in the video, I'll just put down, you know, what the price is. And then they had a bunch of these little um, three-in-one nail art pens. And so I just grabbed all of that, all of them that they had because they were only $2. And I figured I'd keep a few and give a few away. So they had, I think, like three, one, two, three, four different colors. And um, so I got all of all that they had left. And these were only $2 a piece. So you get, this is what it looks like. So within the package, you get um, rhinestones and then a polish. But the po it has, I believe it has two different tips. A regular polish brush and then the um, really fine tip or point for kind of like dotting, which I have the, some of simmer where it's just the colored and the, the actual brush and the tip it doesn't have the rhinestones and I like these because this one has an assortment of sizes and most of the rhinestones that I have are pretty small so I really wanted these mainly for the rhinestones and again they were only two dollars so there's a pink one um, a purple one and they all come coordinated rhinestones then this like turquoise aqua blue and lastly, a silver. So I got one of each color, and then I have, they didn't, they only have one of the blue, sadly. So I picked up one of the, an extra one of the other ones. So that those will be in a giveaway coming up soon. And then I picked up some Milani polishes. Now I, these look new, but I can't say for sure, because again, the website did not specify um, the new nail pot if there were any new nail polish products and these were just extremely gorgeous and I had to pick these up and so these this one is a is in a kind of a clear base with it looks like pale like pastel pink confetti tinsel you know glitter large glitter and then some very fine holographic glitter and this one is called Oh, this is textured nail lacquer with bold shimmer, flat brush for fast and flawless application, and this is called Sugar Burst. So let's see the brush. So, so it looks like you know a regular brush to me. It has a little slightly different smell, but um, I will say that you do get a good amount on the brush when you dip it in there so we will see how this works out and how much you actually get because it says textured nail lacquer it seems like it would be a little bit more full of glitter I don't know we'll have to try these out very soon so again this is number 09 sugar burst this next one is a green one just like the pink one and this is number seven sugar coated zero seven and this is the color it's like a nice like really bright like lime green color this next one um this one's called golden romance i don't think this one this one doesn't say if it's a textured polish although the label is clear and you can barely read it this one I think is just a glitter so it's got um, gold and like pink glitters in it the gold seems to be a finer glitter and it kind of reminds me of the one of the polish that we just got from julep the love that was in the February box 
So this is what the color looks like. Hopefully, oh, you can see that. There we go. And then this is the color Golden Romance number 32A. And then the last one that I got is also a textured one, and this one is called Sugar Rush. They did have one other one that I wasn't necessarily, I don't know why, because it was more blue, but I don't know. This one just looked more unique to what I had and then to something, stuff that I had. Um, the other one looked like something that I already got, so I was like, I'm trying to pare down and not buy so many similar polishes. So again, this is number 08, Sugar Rush. And the rest of the polishes that they pretty much had were like cream finishes, and then some of the other ones were older polishes that I've already seen before, but some of them I couldn't tell, so I was pretty sure I had something similar to those. So those are, that's everything that I got from my Walgreens trip. So, um, then the last thing that I got was um, from um, Amazon. I have been, um, I don't know if you guys have, you know, follow up on new stamping plates that are coming out. Uh, Queen has they posted on their um, Instagram about some new plates that's called the buffet set B-U-F-F-E-T and um, the set was I think I hate that they don't put a packing slip but um, um, I think there's 20 either 20 or 25 plates so this is the Queen 2014 nail art stamp collection set 24B Stamping Buffet, new invention set of 24 all you can something because the label like printed over top of itself. And I did notice that when you search it, if you just put in tween 20, tween 2014, it does not, this collection does not come up. If you put in tween buffet or tween with buffet, tween 24 team nail art stamping buffet or something like that it will bring it up i'll put the link to it and it's by it was sold by in beauty so it comes in a plastic sealed patch god pouch with their you know logo um on the front in black and then it also comes inside of its um, a carrying case, which I do like, which all of Queen's plates come inside of a little small case. The other ones were white and I think more rectangular. I don't have mine. I let my sister use them because they were too small. But the reason why I wanted these was because a lot of these are the like kind of like the scenic type plates. So which means Anybody, no matter what size your nails are, can use these and you can, and I've been wanting to try the scenic ones. So these go from number 50 to number 64. And again, it's set 24B and I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see these. Um, so this is number 50 and this just has a bunch of words, um, model, star, fashion, supermodel, classy, magazine, posh, just beauty related things. Some of these are front to back and some of them aren't. I guess the very last one maybe. This next plate, number 51, this is a scenic one and sorry if you can't see them, um, that will but I will have um I will be doing a demo of a demo of these plates so hopefully you can see that so this is number 51 I should have taken them out but mm, I just opened the package and this is number 52 and this is like a bunch of geometric type designs 53 and I have not looked at these 100% up close. These, this has more text. 
and this has crisis market share oil energy hmm price skyrocket it's a little bit different but hey you know this one is number 54 And this has like flowers and kind of like the honeycomb design down here and kind of like a fence design. And then they start front to back here. So this, seriously? No, I'm sorry. This set goes up to like 73 because the ones on the front start at 50. And then the ones on the back go to, yeah, 74. Hmm. Wasn't expecting that. That can't be right. Well, yeah, that's right. 24 plates? Oh, God. Cheese and rice. Okay, so that was plate 54. I'm just going to go with it. This is plate number... Sorry, 73. And these are just some roses and some like kind of leaf patterns. I'm not sure the best way. I'm trying to get the best way to show these. And this is number 55. I will do up close when I do the stamping demo. And then on the back is number 72, which I really like this one. Let's see if I... Oh, and it's like dual sleeve, so at least, you know, they're not rubbing against each other. So this is the pocket on the front and then the one on the back. I thought they were like in the same sleeve but they're not so this is 56 this is my arms getting tired and I really do like this one number 71 and this has four different designs let me see if see the only thing about taking these out is gonna take forever and a day probably I really do like this one too. This one is number 50, uh, 57. Very, very nice. So I guess I'm just gonna have to take these out. Number 70, I really like this one as well. Although the face I think is, I don't know how I'm gonna capture that. Um, although unless I do the face on like the middle finger and then have the hair and the flowers flowing across the other nails. So that is 70. This one is number 58, and I really, really like this one as well. Sorry, this is gonna be so long, but mm, this is number 69. Very, very cute. And it doesn't help that my nails, oh, it's like trying to pick up a quarter off the ground. Sorry. And this one is number 59. Another kind of like really nice soft pattern, like floor, flowers and, you know, swirlies and stuff. Number 68, this one is very, very nice, appropriate for Valentine's Day. It has some hearts. And this is one that you do like the positive negative one, like this one, these two here at the bottom, very nice. I also love this one, this next one. Cheese and rice, number 60. I really like this one. And 
And then this one's actually really nice, two number 67 for our music lovers. This has just a bunch of different instruments. And this is number 61. These, I really love these as well with the four different larger images on one plate. Although some may be a little bit, I don't know, you have to kind of have to play with these, I think. Well, no, no, I take that back. If you line it up just right, like this is like perfect length for like someone with my nails or you can even cross over or get that way. Again, that one's number 61. Almost done here, people's almost done. And number 66. I really like how a lot of these, you know, some of these newer brands are getting really innovative with their designs. And this one's really nice too, number 62. Number 65. Seems like they have a few of them that are kind of similar. Different types of flowers and types of swirly things, but same concept, which is okay. As long as they're not exactly the same. Oh, this one looks really nice. Number 60, 63. This I like. Bunch of different hearts and stars swirlies and then the last plate this one i like as well oh this one's number 64. I'm trying to figure out what those are in the corner on this side i don't can't really tell but this has flowers on that side like a lace pattern and at the bottom there's like hearts and flowers and swirlies and i'm this side here has some swirlies but I can't make out I mean I guess it's just randomness right in here I can't really tell what those are I don't know if those are presents I don't know so that is the um queen where's my little thing queen 2014 nail art stamp collection set 24b stamping buffet so that is everything that I got from Walgreens and um, Amazon. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you've gotten these. And Oh, they are only $20.99. Last I checked this morning, they had like 19 left in stock. So go get yours. I think these are great for any length of nails because you can do a lot of really fun things where you can combine, you know, different designs without having to, you know, stamp multiple times like you would normally. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Stay polished at all times and have a great day. Bye.